Hello, collectives. Welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching. You are appreciated. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Do whatever your soul is guiding you to do. If it's guiding you to just watch, then go ahead and do that. I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, stay in the purest of white light. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent being sent you, to you and your families immediately and permanently. All plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones have been dismantled immediately and permanently. Let's go ahead and see what in the name of source is going on. We have someone that is dealing with some type of illness, may not be recovering. Someone's plan is not coming into fruition. Oh, someone is bounded. Someone is trapped. Someone is stuck with an illness that will not be healing from. This could be your king of uh, king of cups. The king of pentacles almost came out of my mouth. So it could be the king of pentacles is going through this. Someone has some type of malicious plan, but they're trapped in their own paradigm that they created. Someone is not healing, cannot recover. The first word on here is disease rating. I don't usually read my cards, but I want to today. It says disease, disease rating, stuck, exhaustion, no time off, inadequate recovery, restlessness, difficult to relax, spiritual energy healing. Okay. Someone is absolutely going through a hard time. Someone may have acquired some type of illness they are unable to recover from. Someone may have had some type of plan to trap or hold on to someone's finances, but they cannot. Someone may have led with a dizzy bell and ended up catching some type of illness that they cannot get rid of. So it's not looking good, okay? Someone wants to come to you in an authentic energy, but there's something that's holding them back. They may be trapped in some type of marriage. I don't know what it is. Um, they may be experiencing some type of financial like. It's a whole lot going on. Someone wants to present you with an opportunity, invest in you, but they are mentally trapped about this, okay? Excuse me while I get my cards together, okay? Someone knows that you are gifted. They may want to present you with an opportunity or some money because they believe that you can heal them. Um, they may end up wanting to work with you. Someone wants to heal something with you from the past. Um, the King of Cups has that nostalgic feeling to it for me. All of, actually, all of the course cards that have to do with Cups has a nostalgic feeling to them for me. Um, so someone may want to pay you because they believe that you can heal them because they acquire some type of healing. I'm telling you, they laid with someone. The lovers is under here. Someone laid with someone who has something and they transmuted, transmitted whatever it is to this person. Um, and they're having a hard time recovering. They think that you can save them. You're showing up as the high priestess. They may be coming towards you to give you some type of financial payout right to change your life or something hoping that you two can seal the karma waters close this chapter have some type of closure um but this person is mentally conflicted because they know they did something they had to confess something to you they made a decision in the past to betray you block you so in some type of way so they have to confess what they did to you okay there's a lot of confusions going on i'm telling you they did something someone may be planning someone may have decided to Either play mental games with you, have you trapped in your head, have you stuck in some type of deplorable state, have you blocked, unable to move forward, someone may have decided to bring you some legal issues and things like that unjustly. It's a whole lot going on, but someone is having a hard time. And this is because they didn't want you receiving some type of Ace of Pentacles offer that is due to you. The Ace of Pentacles offer are offers from the Most High. So these are things that you're not expecting. These are blessings that are meant to turn your life around. These are blessings that are kind of like reward from the Most High for all of the hard work you've put in. Someone's greed has landed them in this state of being. Whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whether it's spiritual, someone is having a hard time, right? They cannot come towards you. There's some type of love offer they may want to give you, but they cannot give it to you. Yeah, someone is really trapped in their head about this Ace of Pentacles coming towards you. There could be another masculine in the background that is upset about you still receiving this Pentacle offer, this Ace of Pentacles, 
Uh, and then you may have another masculine that's coming towards you to give you this offer. I had a dream last night about a masculine and I've seen this masculine, I think like a few times in my dreams. And it's always kind of the same thing. He doesn't really say much. He's trying to mask his energy. There's a masculine that has a problem with a feminine energy that is spiritual, that is gifted. Um, I remember the first time I saw him in a dream, we were we were in like this really strange place. It's like he was trying to trap me into some type of, I don't even know how to say it. It's like a cell or something like that. But the cell was not like a regular jail cell. This was like a heavy door and it had chains in front of it. It's like he was trying to trap me in there. But also he was trying to access something that had to do with me. Like he was trying to access my Akashic records. And I remember I turned and I looked at him. I said, oh, you're not getting in there. Um, and then he looked at me kind of upset. He was upset, but he didn't want to show his emotions. Um, and I said it to him again. I said, I don't care what you do. You're not getting in there. You're not allowed in there. Um, and this is because it, my Akashi record was being blocked. Um, I was the only one that had access to it. My ancestors were the only one that had access to it. It's that he was trying to subdue me but he couldn't um and i just remember he got really upset and we switched the topic really quickly it went from him trying to access my akashic record to us talking about going grocery shopping or something so this masculine is very persistent he wants to attach himself to me it's like he knows my future he knows something uh, he just wants to verify it or he knows that I have some type of gift or something and he wants to have access to those gifts. Strip me of those gifts. He wants to know what my weaknesses are. It's just things like that. And I keep seeing this in masculine repeatedly. I'm just like, sir, I don't care how many ways you appear. It's that your energy is still the same. So then the next time I saw him, we end up in a church congregation. It's this huge mega church. And I'm not religious. And he knows this, but he's sitting and talking to me. And I told him, well, sir, I'm not really religious. I don't have a problem with people that are religious. I think it's good that people have something they believe in, something of that nature. And I said, I'm just not religious. It just hasn't worked for me. I grew up religious, but, you know, when I got older, I found my way out of that. I was not fulfilled in that, so I'm not religious. And he just seemed disappointed. It's almost as though I was supposed to be religious because that would make things easier for us to be together. Um, maybe he comes from a religious background or something like that. And because his family see that I'm not religious, they have made that into a problem. Or he just, he has like a fixed mindset where it's that, well, she's not religious, so we must not be meant to be. And it's always the same masculine, very tall, um... And I'm just like, I don't know what this person wants from me. And then last night when I saw him in a dream, it's that like he was trying to present himself to me. He still had a problem with me not being religious, but he was trying to give me something. And he was uttering some type of word. I don't know if it was spell, a spell he was trying to utter, but it was not coming out the way he wanted it to. It's almost as though either my ancestors or the Most High were interfering on him saying this spell word um saying it on me or speaking this spell work on me and it just was not going according to plan so just be mindful of someone coming towards you someone may have been hired as well to come into your life to cause you some type of illusion to block your forward movement i just do not get like a wholesome feeling about this man when i see him in my dreams right it's just there's something about him it's like it's that like he's religious publicly, but there's something else going on behind the scenes. So when he comes into my energy, it just does not feel genuine. And I automatically go into this mode where I feel like I have to protect myself. I have to stand my ground. It's that like he's trying to convert me into something that's a little bit more acceptable and things like that. And it's just like, no, I'm not converting to anything to make you happy. Um, and every time I stand my ground and I shut him down, it's like the dream will automatically end. Um, and this is what you have to do with these types of people that are into practicing dark magic. You have to stand your ground. You have to bring attention to what they're doing to them. They say, hey, I know what you're doing. You know, I know you're trying to self in my energy. I know you're playing mental games. I know you have a handler and they sent you to me. I know you're interfering with this in my life. I don't care about any of that. But just know that I know and it's not going anywhere. I'm still going to prosper. 
when you when you let them know that you know what they're doing, it dismantles them, right? It it defeats them automatically because it's that well they already know what I'm doing. What's the point of doing it? Yeah. So I'm, I said something about gaslighting. Yeah, so someone may want to come in to present you with an offer. They may want to tr make it seem like it's a it's a pentacles offer, but it may be gaslighting you. It may not be a sturdy offer that they're giving you. Someone has some type of ulterior motive. I'm telling you, keep your distance. Keep your distance from this person. You are protected. This person knows you have spiritual gifts like myself here. Um, they may be trying to steal your abundance for you. So they may want to come and give you something littler than what you're supposed to have. Um, so keep your distance from this person. Protect yourself. Defend yourself as well. Stand your ground against these types of people. Because what I got, I'm telling you, this person has ulterior motives. They want to give you less than what you are due. Um, I just lost my train of thoughts. This person has ulterior motives, okay? Be mindful. Is that someone is playing mental games? Is that you will not remember this? When you wake up, you will not feel like doing your work. You will not remember. You will not feel like posting content. You will not feel like going to work. You will. It's like, sir, I still feel like doing all those things. Like sit down somewhere, okay? It's like this person is really set on misleading you. They are set on stealing from you, but they want to come off as authentic. They want to make it seem like you two are genuinely connected. And for some of you, maybe you do have a contract with this person, but they need to go through some type of healing, right? They have some type of healing they need to go to, but this person, they have ulterior motives for you. People are trying to block your way. They want you living in darkness, uncertain about your future, your path. They don't want you to feel certain that you are on the right path, but you are. So they may want to give you an offer to distract you and get you off of your path, but you need to stay on your path. You are on the right path. If the Most High has not told you, I'm telling you, you're on the right path. You are the truth, right? You're a blessing. There's something someone did not see about you. It was hidden from them before, but they see you now. This is a different character. Someone did not see the truth about you. It could also be the same character that has been, you know, popping up in my dreams like three times, I'm telling you. They're seeing the truth now. You may have been walking in darkness. There's a matter you did not see the truth about. So you were maybe like trying to figure things out. And the most high told you, hey, calm down. We have it, we have it under control. You're trying to figure things out. You're taking actions on your own and you're complicating things even more for yourself. We already have it figured out. Okay. Someone was in the dark about you, but something has been revealed. I'm telling you. There's something here. Someone is something else behind closed doors. Publicly, they appear to be this, but behind closed doors, they are into this. They are religious up front. They, 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 come, across, they come across as being pure, genuine, nurturing, right? But behind closed doors, they are serving this person. So this person motive is like they want to come in, give you this false offer so that you can go from this to being this, to end something for you. This is like being derailed off of your path and you'll fall from grace. So be mindful with these types of people. And I keep telling people, do not be in a hurry for anything. Do not be in a hurry to fall in love. Do not be in a hurry to be successful in life. Take things gradually, one day at a time, okay? When you are in a hurry to acquire things, this is when you end up in these types of situations, okay? Be absolutely mindful. Do not be in a hurry for anything. I don't care how wealthy the person is. Look, wealthy. I don't care how good looking the person is. I don't care how much they're... Uh, 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 game how good their game is do not be in a hurry for anything with anyone or anything let the most high guide your path let the most high direct your path okay but there is absolutely a material motive and i said something about you and your partner being from i think the uh 
either the opposite or something like that. This is you. This is this person that's trying to get with you. You are complete opposite. This person could be like a fallen angel, fell from grace many lifetimes ago, and they've been uh, uh, incarnating. I'm telling you, this person fell from grace. I'm telling you, they fell from grace. This used to be an angel, but they fell from grace. And they think you can heal them so that they can be restored. But this person may have fallen from grace many lifetimes ago. They're trying to either come back, you know, gain their grace back, get their grace back, or they want to trap you with them. But it's not happening. Your ancestors are interfering. There's a love connection in here for someone. Your ancestors are interfering to protect this union. Someone, your union is being protected. People have been interfering with you and someone else coming together. They don't want you and someone else coming together. So they may want to present you with your false twin so that you can end up with them and miss out on your opportunity with your actual twin. But your ancestors are stepping in on your behalf. Someone is falling from grace. They don't know what to do anymore. Some of you, these people have been hiring practitioners and things like that to attack you. But, you know, whatever it is they're doing, it doesn't matter. Who, I'm telling you, practitioners, it does not matter who they're hired, who they have in hire, what spell work they're doing, what kind of work they're doing behind the scenes. They're not able to take you down and they're getting frustrated. It's like they go to this person in this country and the person tells them, oh yeah, that's easy kick, easy PC, I can take them down. And then they do their work, you're still waking up, you're still hopeful, you're still thankful, you're still showing gratitude to the universe and your ancestors, you're still walking with your head held high, people want you living in some type of scarcity mentality, things like that, it's just not working. That practitioner work does not fulfill the contract, whatever it is they want them to do. So then they'll go to the next one. People are going, there's a group or there's someone that's going to different practitioners. They're going to New Orleans, Haiti, Jamaica, Nigeria, Ghana. They're going to India. They're going to different practitioners. Someone is literally traveling abroad or making a phone call to people abroad to do work on some of you. It's the hey, do you know a practitioner I can use? I have some work I need them to do, right? And these practitioners, they, I don't know what it is that they're not asking questions. Obviously, they're in the dark. They're in the dark work, so they're not going to ask questions. As long as you pay them what it is that they ask for, they'll do anything for you, okay? So someone is going from practitioner to practitioner to practitioner to practitioner to destroy a union, to destroy some type of new beginning, to block someone from receiving an ace of pentacles that belongs to them and they cannot. Someone has gone broke doing this. Someone is having to pinch pennies now. This is what this is. They have to pinch pennies because they spend so much money to stop you, to block you, and you're still receiving what's yours. This is how it works. People don't understand. It's like you're going. It's like the, you're going to make yourself broke trying to tear someone's down, someone down. And the universe has it set up that way. They have it set up that way. They are going to let you keep paying practitioners. And I'm telling you, this practitioner is still on the bottom. They're going to have you keep paying practitioners taking all of these actions, bribing people behind the scenes and things like that until your finances are depleted. And then they will let you have a front row seat to let you see, to have you watch this person still elevate, still acquire what it is that belongs to them. Someone wants you locked up before you can receive this Ace of Pentacles and it's not going to happen. I'm going to turn this car around because when I was uh, resetting my cars, I missed that one, so I had to turn it around. I like my readings to be as genuine as possible. So if something is actually in the reverse, that means it actually fell out in the reverse. So I don't want something already here in the reverse. I want it to be genuine. So yeah, they're still going to watch you Acquire what's yours. Receive your blessing from the Most High. Someone is absolutely being humble, okay? Yeah, it's not happening. They're interfering with justice, and your ancestors have stepped in.
to bring balance into this situation. Whether the wheel of fortune is in the upright or reverse, it is still a just do. Someone is receiving a test of their own medicine. They're receiving karma, but it's not in the upright. Okay? Someone is freaking a uh, bias. There's a bigot in here somewhere. That worry has been coming up in a lot of my reading. Someone is freaking a bigot. Someone is prejudiced. Someone is a whole lot that they don't need to be. And it's simply because of who you are for some of you. And it's simply because of their mindset. They think they're better than you because of the background they come from. Or maybe a job title right someone has a whole lot that they need to heal from and they're not wanting to heal so they're taking it out on you but your ancestors they're in here they're returning to, to sender everything this person has been sending you has been returned to them so they're going through some type of bad karma and this is just due okay someone has been doing quite a lot they said, oh, we can do all of this and we can get them locked up so they don't receive this Ace of Pentacles. They said, um, your ancestors like, no, no, that's not part of their contract. Being in jail, being in prison, being blocked, being stopped, being mentally drained is not part of their uh, uh, contract. They are going to get what's theirs. They've actually done the work. This is what happens when you actually do the work, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, interference by your ancestors. This is judgment. This is what happens when you actually do the work in life. You have the angels, they will interfere on your behalf. The universe will interfere on your behalf. You don't have to lift a finger. Your enemies will receive bad karma for what it is you're doing. Someone is trying to interfere with justice being brought into a situation. They want to keep imbalancing a situation and your angels are not having it. You could have a higher level soulmate that you are not aware of that may be supporting you in the background. They could be interfering on your behalf spiritually or even physically, right? So that things can go in your favor. Someone knows what all you've been going through with people. And so they know you may not trust people because it's that you have hundreds of people going up against you. So they know if they come towards you, you know, you may not trust them. It's like, I don't know you and you want me to trust you. So they're taking actions on your behalf without you knowing it to bring balance into this situation. I'm telling you, this queen of pentacles, this greedy woman has been showing up in my reads consistently. Your ancestors absolutely interfere to make sure she receives her karma. This is someone that wants to have your ace of pentacles. They are literally interfering with her. This woman is getting a taste of her own medicine. Absolutely. Someone has bad karma that's going on. They're losing a lot of finances. They may be losing relationships. Someone could be unhinged. They, they, they feel entitled to what is yours. I'm telling you, they're brokenhearted. They cannot get it. They cannot receive what is yours. Someone has done a whole lot behind the scenes. Someone may be stealing from some of you as far as work. Someone may be stealing money from you at work or stealing money from work. But this person is absolutely heartbroken that you are still receiving what is yours. Someone wants to say, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. It was just a misunderstanding. No, it was not a misunderstanding, madame. You knew what you were doing. You knew what you were doing. I'm telling you, they are heartbroken that you're still moving forward. Someone has done a whole lot behind the scenes to block you and cause illusions. But regardless of what they're doing, you're still moving forward. You are still moving forward. This could be the person that's hiring these practitioners. This could be a feminine energy that's hiring practitioners behind the scenes to interfere with someone else's work. They are broken hearted that you are still focused, you are still committed, you're still moving forward, you are still protected. Someone wants you to lose your protection, but you will not. And any loss, any loss that you experience is divinely orchestrated, it's meant to be. So you may lose something and you're heartbroken about it, but it's 
there's a purpose to it. We don't know the future. Even us high priestesses, we don't know the future 100%. Okay? So if you lose something and you have to walk away from something, it's divinely orchestrated. That means that the universe has more for you. Okay? They have something better for you. The universe will never take anything away from you without having something better. I'm telling you something better. So whatever people are doing behind the scenes to interfere, taking, I'm telling you, <laughs> she's, she's devastated that you're still moving forward. Whatever people are doing to interfere with you behind the scenes, whatever it is, you're still moving forward. Someone wants to take some type of action to come in, cause you some type of illusion. It's not going to work. They don't understand how you keep moving forward, how you keep advocating for yourself, standing up for yourself. You know that when to take the right actions and things like that. Someone, it said they had something planned to happen, right? They had something planned to happen. It's like they have a schedule. We're going to do this at this time. We're going to do this at this time. We're going to do this at this time. And they don't understand how you keep taking actions at the right time. You're not impulsive. You're strategic. It may come off like you're impulsive, but you know exactly what you're doing. And this woman is heartbroken that your work is still protected. Someone is losing sleep. Someone is bothered behind the scenes. They may want to come in and do you something off your light, have you trapped in something, but they cannot. You are the truth. You are the truth. It says someone sees you in this energy and they think they can just come in and take you down, but then they're met with this energy and it's shocking to them. Maybe you used to be in this energy and you used to be all about peace and love. You didn't want to hurt a fly. And then you learn, hey, I won't hurt the fly if the fly does not land on me. So you started getting into this energy when people, you don't get into this energy without a cause. This is like avenging angels and things like that. They take action to bring right into a, a, a situation. <clears throat> right? They take action when it's needed. They don't, they're not impulsive and things like that. But people misuse this energy. Women like this, people like this, they misuse this energy. They manipulate this energy. So you two are in this energy, except you're using it in the right way, and this person is using it in the wrong way. They're, someone is heartbroken about an action they took against you. They're regretting that they didn't advocate for you in the past and things like that. They're regretting that your work is still secure. You're still committed. It said, we've done everything. Why is she still moving forward? Why is he still moving forward? Who is this person? What are we missing? They keep having to go back to the drawing board. People want you to live in scarcity. That word keeps coming up. It's like they want you to believe that your future is over. You're a block and they are the only ones that can help you. And that's not true. That is not true. They want to trap you in something unholy and your ancestors are not having it. The very thing they are into is being dismantled, as you can see here. This cult, this COVID organization, whatever this is, is being dismantled. They have to do the right thing. So what is yours will be given to you. Absolutely. I'm telling you, what is yours will be given to you. Your ancestors are protecting what is yours. You don't have to go back and forth with these people. You don't have to live in uncertainty. You don't have to live in, live in fear. Put all of that aside. It's protected. It is protected. Someone does not want to see you living in abundance. They don't want to see you in this energy, having wish fulfillment, having an equal give and take in love, being creative, being abundant in many different ways. They don't want to see that happening, but that's exactly what's meant for you. And that's what you're going to have. Some of you have people tempering with your life, lives in ways that people should not feel comfortable doing, but they are. The fact that they fell on the side means that someone 
There's someone talking to either your counterpart to discourage them from coming towards you. I'm telling you, they're trying to interfere with this. Someone is trying to interfere with this. Someone may be telling this masculine that you are bad luck. You're into witchcraft. You're into voodoo. Blah, 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 blah. But it's actually them that is into all of that. If you're showing up in this energy, that means you absolutely have no need, no reason to be indulging in something like this. So whoever is bad-mouthing bad you, they are the ones involved in that. They are the ones involved in that. But they're hiding it. They serve two masters. Publicly, they're religious, and then behind the scenes, they serve a different master. <clears throat> These people have been trying really hard to split up two people that are meant to be. This woman, I'm telling you, this woman, her ancestors are not with her. They are not with her. They are not, they're not supporting her. Someone was guided to leave something alone. But it's that she still wants to hold on to what is yours. This is greed. And while all of that is going on, she's still trying to block you. They want to remove your protection, but they cannot. They want to break your heart, but they cannot. They may want to get you involved in something legal. They cannot. People are wicked. People are wicked till they're fighting. Someone wants to bring the smoke to you, but they can not. <clears throat> they cannot. They're heartbroken. Someone is absolutely heartbroken that they cannot come in and gaslight you. These people are fighting behind the scenes. They don't have any protection, whether it's in the justice system, their ancestors, their clothing, whatever it is. They don't have protection anymore. They don't have protection. They thought they were going to get judgment in their favor, justice in their favor, right? To receive what's yours, to block your work, and it's not. It says someone can't figure out why is she still thriving? How is he still thriving? Why is he still able to show up to work? Well, how is he still able to have money? Why is he not stuck? And they know you see them. They know you're aware of what's going on. They know you're aware of everything. You know too much is what someone is saying. She knows too much. He knows too much. We got to give it up. And this woman is saying, no. No, we can't. We need to keep going. And every step they take is making things worse for them. And that's because she has her eye on this money that does not belong to her. This inheritance that does not belong to her. This abundance that doesn't belong to her. Because someone is greedy. Selfish. There's someone that keeps saying, don't help them. Don't help, don't help her. Don't help him. And those words are going to come back to hunt this person at a later time. Those very words are going to come back to hunt someone i'm telling you everything is being exposed someone is watching you trying to come up with a plan on how they can defeat you there's a group that is watching someone coming up with a plan on how to defeat you everything else they've done has not worked so they're going to try again they're going to keep trying and it's not going to work it is not going to work. These people cannot have what's not theirs. It's that someone thinks if they watch you every step of your day, see everything you do on a daily basis, your daily routines, they'll study you and they'll know how you can move, how you move, and they'll have the perfect way to come in because they know everything about you. So it'll be easy for them to deceive you. Not happening. They're still being seen as this. Someone may want to come to you and act like they're intellectual. You know, you two resonate on the same frequency. Still exposed. 
someone is still exposed and they know you know they're in chaos they know you know is that she knows too much we gotta shut her down he knows too much we gotta shut him down hmm. and you're a queen of cups minding your business just minding your business. It's that you know what's going on with them intuitively behind the scenes, but you're minding your business, counting your crystals, staying in your lane. You're like, I have a S amethyst crystal, fluorite crystal. Rose quartz crystal. You're you're busy paying attention to your crystals while your enemies are unhinged behind the scenes fighting. How do you pick a war, pick a battle with someone and you are losing the battle? The person is not really fighting back, but you're losing. And that's because that person has the favor of the most high on them. These people pick the fight with you all collective. They picked a fight, they saw someone feeble, so they thought. They saw someone weak, someone alone, and they said, oh, we can sacrifice that person. No one knows her. She doesn't have a lot of family. No one knows him. He doesn't have a lot of family. No one's going to miss them. That's an easy target. Someone has some type of demonic contract on your life, some of you. They had a certain amount of time, certain amount of years to fulfill that contract and they could not. The contract is up. There will have been a point in your life where you just felt like everything was going out haywire. You may have felt unsafe, uncertain. You didn't know what was going on. That was because someone's contract was almost up and they were doing everything behind the scenes to block you. So you probably felt like you were going through some type of tornado at some point. But that's because this person, their contract was coming up and they had not fulfilled their end of the bargain with the devil. And the pressure was being applied. So they were applying pressure to you. And they still were not meant to succeed. It all came down crashing. London Bridge came down crashing. <clears throat> absolutely you are the truth queen of swords someone is upset you're taking charge of your life someone is upset that you are strong you have some type of supernatural strength it said they didn't expect you to be this strong they see you in this energy and this energy and they said oh there's not really much to them they're in the love and light we can take them down and then they did the first attack. Nothing really happened. They're like, well, we can try again. We probably sent it to the wrong person. And then they did it again. Nothing happened. They said, wait, this person is still showing up to work. This person is still waking up. So they did it again. And by the 10,000th time, you're still here. It went from, from them being uh, determined to take you down. Now they're not just determined to take you down. They're obsessed. Is that who is that? What in the world is going on? They've destroyed many people before, many lives, many careers, many marriages, many relationships. They've destroyed them all, but they could not destroy you because you've been consistent with the most high, with who you are. You have been consistent. I'm telling you, you know when to take which personality. You're minding your business, manifesting a new reality for yourself, manifesting abundance. You are in this energy because you know this is the energy you need to be in to manifest what you want. People come and pick a fight with you. You go into this energy and it surprises them. And then after it's all done, you go back into this Queen of Cups energy, focusing on your dreams daydreaming
they don't know what to make of you. So we've dealt with we deal with worse people than this before. She's so weak. We should be able to take her down. But they're not. I'm telling you, they are not. They are not. This is what's ahead of you. This is what's ahead of you. Someone feels entitled to what's yours, but they cannot have what's yours. Someone, by the time you make it to your twin flame, one of them or some of them will be sick with some type of disease they cannot get rid of because they lay with the wrong person. And it's going to be your decision if you want to be with them. Someone has a lot of mental issues they cannot recover from because they don't want to do the work to recover from that. Someone is mentally trapped. Someone may have had some type of plan to come to worship, but they can't because they're trapped in something. Someone trapped themselves in something. With this, with these hooligans, they trapped themselves in something. They cannot get out of it. They're having nightmares, remorse, fear, lots of anxieties. Someone is bothered by the actions that they took. Someone wants to be seen in a light that is not theirs. It's that like they want to be seen as you, but this is them. And they cannot fool people anymore. Someone is not recovering. And this is something they brought on themselves. Someone is not recovering. Someone cannot hold on to what belongs to you. They have to let go. Someone has to let go. People have been working with practitioners behind the scenes, bribing them to do work to prevent you from being able to manifest, but they cannot. There's a practitioner that just may be even keeping her distance from these people now because the truth has been revealed to her. She's keeping her distance. Is it, um, you know what, thank you. I don't want your money. No, thank you. I didn't know this is who you had me throwing spell work at. And for some of you, these practitioners are still accepting the money and not doing the job. Is it, um, thank you for the money. I will be sure to get to that. They go to sleep. It is fool. Someone does not want you receiving what is yours. It's what keeps being told to me. They say, if I cannot attach myself to you, if you won't share with me what belongs to you, if I cannot be in a relationship with you, I'm blocking your forward movement. And then the most high stepped in and said, excuse me, you're not in charge. You have free will to do what you want, but not to block someone else's future. Because that's interfering with their free will. This contract is over. You're doing too much. What you were divinely meant to do, you've already done. Now what you're doing, it, no, it's over. Someone has made it their personal mission to destroy another person's life. Their personal mission to destroy someone else's life. There's a masculine that feels that you can heal him, star see Whether you can, you cannot. Let the most high guide you on that one. Someone is upset, broken hearted that you're keeping your distance from them. From all of them. You don't want nothing to do with them. And they're like, well... I need this star seed to heal me. And someone said, well, they don't want nothing to do with us. So you're going to have to deal with that. that. She don't want nothing to do with us. He don't want nothing to do with us. So you're going to have to deal with that. Someone is sick and cannot pay for witchcraft anymore for some of you. They've depleted their finances. So they cannot for witchcraft anymore 
Someone went from being abundant to living in scarcity. And now they want you living in scarcity. So they're doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your work, your life. Because they want you in the same energy as them. You're not. Spirit, what is your message? Okay. What is your advice from us for us? So five, we have 23. You have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You have change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. All right. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. I am adventurous. Absolutely. And it sure has been adventurous for us, Darcy's, with the amount of mess these people are putting us through. It's been adventurous. Right? But we are still overcomers. Keep your positive mindset positive. Keep your mind on positive thoughts. Okay? Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.